In this video, I'll show you how to put multiple parts onto one drawing sheet. So you can come over to your palette and see these little dots here? That'll let you browse through all your files. So find the file that you're looking for. We'll open that up. And then you'll see what you have to deal with here. We're going to do, uh, that looks like a good front view. So as we've always done, pay attention to how you select your views. Now in this case, the front view, I'm sorry, the right side and the top would be exactly the same. So I'll just do the views like this. And probably I may end up changing the scale and so forth, but that at least gets us started. Okay, so that's the first part. Let's add another part. So again, browse, find your next part, and place it. Be careful because if you, if you uh, let it, it'll try to grab onto those other views. So let's, let's keep it separate from those views. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, find your best front view. I think that's a good front. Right. And again, the top view would be exactly the same as the front view. Now, so we've got two totally different situations here because this screw is so small. So let's change the scale. Try to be, we're just going to put these two drawings on this sheet. That's a one-to-one. -one. Let's make it a two-to-one and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And again, we can move our views around to get enough space for our dimensions. Now, whenever you have multiple view or multiple parts on the drawing sheet, you want to make sure you label them. So we'll just use that note tool. And the text is kind of small. If you highlight that, you can change the text size to something that's easier to read and check on that. And we'll do the same thing for that one. We'll create a note over here. Increase the font size. And then you can always move this around. Uh, so I'd, we'll need to add my dimensions on there. So then in the title block, what you're gonna do is ch you change this title block to say something different. So if you go over here, edit the sheet format, you can change that name to say collar and screw or whatever the case may be.